Let's take a look at how you can manipulate the data source of your chart. You might recall when I first created this chart that's open in front of us right now, I started out by selecting my data. I selected from A3 down to D8, and I, then I went to insert, and I inserted a clustered column chart. Now, there may come a time when you decide that, you know what, I don't want all three months, or maybe I want to add the totals into my chart as well. So we need to change the source. Microsoft has made this super simple, very little steps in order for us to manipulate the chart. You don't have to delete the chart and recreate it. Make one little change and you update the data source. So right now, my chart is plotting out all three months. But you know what? Uh, I like the three months and I've got it broken up by the bills, but I don't need March yet. All I need is January and February. So watch this. I'm going to go back up to the data up above. Actually, before that, I'm going to make sure my chart is selected. Just clicking someplace empty on the chart. It's selected. Now I'm going to go up to the data. This is pretty slick. You'll find some color-coded areas within your data source. You'll see this little orange area that's circling my bills, this little purple area grabbing my months, and this blue area that's grabbing the data source itself, all the numeric values. Now what I'm going to do is grab the lower right corner. If I can get to that, I'm just going to move this out of the way actually. Let's move that. It was just covering it up a little bit. So I'll grab my chart again, hop back up there, grab that lower right corner, and I'm just going to pull it in. Just left click and drag. So I've now eliminated March, and I've just got January and February data. And if I go back down to my chart, there it is, it's updated. I've got just my January and February data now. Oh, you know what? I don't want all the bills. I don't need rent and phone and credit cards. You know what? I, maybe, maybe I just don't want rent. Let's do everything else. Rent kind of blows everybody out of the water. So once again, with the chart selected, I'll go back up. I'm going to grab the top of the box, and I'll drag that down. Let's eliminate rent. So now I just got phone, credit cards, food, and gas. Scroll back down, and my chart is updated. I no longer have rent in the mix. Simple little change. And look what that did for my values. It's much, much cleaner because I don't have that much of a scale anymore in there. Simple change. Select the chart, hop back up, and just manipulate the data source of your chart. Now I've got all three months back in there once again. Try this out. Select your chart, hop back up to your data source, find those color-coded areas, and just click and drag to rearrange the data source within your chart. Can't be any simpler than that. Try it out.